What did you say that first name was? Sharon. The Lisa Ross Birth and Women's Center provides a variety of services for both pregnant and non-pregnant women. Um, we have always offered gynecology care, well woman care, um, to women who are seeking their annual exams, um, do breast exams, pap smears. Um, we um, prescribe contraception. Uh, well, we have several different programs. Um, one is Centering Pregnancy, which is our uh, new model of group prenatal care. It's a national model um, that combines education, assessment, and support. We have a group of eight to ten women of similar gestation who uh, meet together uh, throughout their pregnancy, ten sessions, uh, ten two-hour sessions throughout pregnancy. And it's a great way for women to learn from each other, to um, get to get access to more information, and to learn to be more actively involved in their prenatal care. We were able to purchase an ultrasound machine. We have an ultrasonographer who comes over and does ultrasounds a couple of days a week here at the birth center. So that's made things a lot more convenient for our clients to have ultrasounds on site. We uh, provide um, intrapartum care or delivery care to women in labor here at the center outside of the hospital. We also offer that same service taking care of women in labor uh, at the hospital setting. Um, we offer postpartum care, newborn care. We also have our what we call Project Hope, which was the program that we started in uh, June of 2006 to serve our Spanish-speaking population. Um, in, in that time, in June 2006, the Knox County Health Department uh, stopped providing prenatal care and left uh, many Spanish-speaking uninsured women with uh, very limited options for prenatal care in Knox County. We opened our doors to those women and started um, a program with having interpreters and, and uh, working with our labs and the hospitals and, and other partners uh, to provide services for those women. Um, they're now about 30% of our clientele. I feel this place as a very special place because it's not called like a hospital and I feel very special when I was having my baby here. It's a very warm environment. Um, the people who care about us didn't care where are we from, where are we, what language we speak, if we speak English or Spanish. Wow, I bet he'll be impressed with how much she's grown. I hope so. I'm curious about what her weight is. <laughs> we have started a breastfeeding center at Lisa Ross. Um, we have found, like many of the other services that we've developed, that there was a lack in the community of breastfeeding hey, services. Hey, girl! I'm breastfeeding now because of the center. Um, I'd had a lactation consultant in the hospital, and that was helpful. Um, but it wasn't everything I needed, and at that point, what they were telling me to do wasn't quite working, and, and there wasn't anybody there to, to check up on it, and I kept going, okay, I know I can call Lisa Ross, and, and I can go in there as many times as I need to and get this figured out. The breastfeeding services here, um, I could not have made it without them. It offers services just on a level that no one else is willing to do. It's not just a phone call and, well, try this, and you're kind of off on your own. When you're having a breastfeeding issue, the answer needs to come quick. The method needs to come quick. I really wanted to breastfeed. I know some women don't, and that's fine. But for me, it was such a desire to do um, for his health reasons, for my health reasons. Um, and I struggled a lot. Um, really, that's. I spent more of my time here, I think, after my baby was born because of the breastfeeding. Most of what I needed was a lot of hand-holding. I needed, you know, the, the method to get back on track. But I also needed to be told, you're doing okay. I'm a first-time mom, and I was terrified. I thought things were going great. And I would call Sherry, and I'd cry, and I'd tell her, I just don't know what I can do and how else to do it. She kept saying I was doing a great job. She just kept encouraging me. She gave me that extra encouragement that I really needed because I have been in your shoes, and so I know what that's like. My husband kind of put it concisely. He said, there's a doctor for women that are pregnant, and there's a doctor for the babies once they're here, but there's nothing in between. And that's really <laughs> what the breastfeeding center did for me, was to kind of hold up that place in between. And it's for thriving of both the mother mentally and physically for the baby, too. That's kind of where they fill in the gap. For me, the breastfeeding center has been a lifesaver. It was great. And you know now you can see he's doing great. He's growing like a weed. And so it was really, it was really great. And it's been interesting talking to you. Um, previous generations and they've said I love you. if I had that kind of support I would have continued I would have continued um, and to me that's a lot. Mm -hmm.